Okay, hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlSafety.com and I'm here with another tutorial uh, which can be used to add to your current HTML page. Uh, if you've been watching my other video tutorials, uh, you have been able to create a HTML document as well as being able to add to the body to add some text as well as uh, being able to change your text fonts, to change the colors of your text and to do other things with it. In this tutorial today, we're going to be looking at background colors. Now, the way we can do this, we can do this in several different ways. So the way we're going to focus on this today is this entire section here is your body of your is where the entire body of your HTML document is going to go. So we want, let's say, we want to change the entire background color to red. So the way we do this is we go to the body tag with the opening element, add a spacebar and then put style which is your style attribute and this is going to be equal to your background color so background color in inverted commas and let's call this red and then you end your inverted commas so let's save this and then let's refresh the page and now the entire page has gone red Similarly, we can change this to blue, save, refresh page, uh, green, save and refresh, or we can even do more different colors like turquoise, and it will still perform the same function. So let's go, let's keep this turquoise color for now. And let's say we wanted to make a list of ingredients that we want to make for some food. So we have your ordered list because uh, we want to prioritize. So within this ordered list, we want to make a list. And so we've got eggs uh, end list. You've got your cheese. Um, forward slash li and you've got your bacon and then to end your list because you've now finished it you want to do forward slash ol and then close your list so let's first save this and as we can see in the top left hand corner we've got eggs bacon and eggs cheese and bacon in an ordered list as it shows as one two three if you don't know how to do this, you can go back to one of my other tutorials, uh, which uh, you, which can be found on my page, or I will be putting this in the description later on. So now let's say we want to change the text slightly. So let's say the eggs uh, will be white, cheese will be yellow, and your bacon, let's say, will be brown. So how can we change the individual colors of the text? Before we wanted it, before we can do this, let's first think about how we can change the entirety uh, of the list color. So as we've been doing before, we've been using the style attributes. We can use the same application as we did in the body text, in the body tag. Uh, and make it as ordered list style is equal to in open speech marks um, background color uh, and colon and then let's make this green and speech marks save it and then refresh now your entire list has gone green so in, now, if we want to, instead of this, make each of the individuals uh, a different color, as we as I've decided, as we've said in the text, all we have to do is apply the exact same things as we've been doing in throughout this tutorial of using the style attribute. So we'll do list sty list style is equal to background color colon, and in this case we want it to be white. Then we can save this, refresh the page, and this specific 
and eggs specifically will only be white. As we've not uh, put a style attribute to any of the others or to the list, it stays purely in the turquoise color. So now let's, instead of uh, it being turquoise, let's have the next one equal to background hyphen color. And we wanted this to be yellow. End speech marks and end the angle brackets. And then the final one, we wanted it to be style is equal to open, uh, open speech marks, background color. And we wanted this to be brown. So now when I save it, we will simply get three different colors in which your list has now been changed. So you've got your initial background color, which is turquoise, which is your your body using a st uh, your body tag using a style attribute, and the variable we're using is the background color, and the value we're assigning to the variable is turquoise. Hence, why the entire background is now turquoise. Similarly, when we decide to make the ordered list, we can make a simple ordered list. But if we wanted to change the background color of it, we can simply apply the same style attribute using the variable of background color and applying a different value to it, so which will change the individual color of the entirety of the line. So. Uh, when it, uh, so that's really about it when it comes to changing the background colors and changing any colors with regards to its background. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Carl from carlsapsy.com.